through this practical example right here, let's find out how can we use the count if function and also the count ifs function here in Excel. Both functions can help us solve real problems and also help us to make analysis in Excel. The count function, count if, count ifs function can count the number of cells within a range that meets a given criteria. So let's take a look here on how can we do it in a practical way. First, let's understand what I have here as the data set. I have the date, the order ID, the product. Basically here I have a sales report. Quantity, unit price, total price, and also the region. Because I have here a lot of rows, a lot of columns, it's a large data set, it's difficult to make any type of analysis because I have too much information here. So it's a good idea to maybe filter and sift just the information that I need using the count if function or the count ifs. So let's take a look here in this first example. I need to fill it in here with the quantity of orders per region. And here I have the four different regions, South, West, Northeast, and Midwest. If you take a look here back in the data set, I have a lot of different regions randomly here throughout my data set. And uh, each one of the rows basically have a different region. And of course, region can repeat itself. So here I have South one time, and uh, again here two, uh, two more times here, so four, here five, and so on, so on. I need to know how many times uh, the South region just bought here with my, my company, for example. So the quantity of orders per region to do it instead of do it manually like we are doing before. One, two, three, four, and so on, so on. We can make here some automation and we can use the count if function to help us. Equal sign count if. And as you guys can see here through this list that we have, we have two different options, count if and count ifs. The only difference between these two functions right here is the first option, count if, you can use one condition. That is, for example, the region. So the quantity of orders per region. You can use one condition. If you want to use more than one condition, you can use the count ifs function in Excel because here you can put as many as criteria as you need to use. So quantity of orders per region, per month, per uh, let's say product per customer. You have three, four, ten different criteria. You can use the count ifs function to help you. Let's start here with the count if function. Double click here to select one, two, okay. Now the only two things that the count if function is asking me here. First is the range, where I'm gonna count the, the things that I'm looking for, and then the criteria. So let's start here with the range that I'm looking for the things that I need. So as I want to count the region, for example, I need to select here what column, tell me. The last column, right? The column G, because here is where I have the regions. And I can either select a small range like this or click just here over the letter G. That way I can select the entire column G. Now, comma, and now we move on here to the last condition, the criteria itself. And the criteria, I need to type it in here or to select the thing that I need to looking for in the range that I just select. So, as I want to count the south region, I can either open quotations mark, type it in here south, and then close quotations mark, for example. I can do that way. Or I can select the cell itself where I have the south name within, okay? And then I can close parentheses and then I can press enter. Here we got 66 times the south name, the south region appears here in this list, okay? This is how the count if function works. To do it again, I can either equal sign count if again and again, or I can click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down to make sure all the rows now contain the same function and we're done. This is how we can use the count if function in Excel to count the number of the cells that meet a given criteria. And I can see here through this analysis that I just did, uh, the sound region is the, the region that I just uh, bought the most, for example, 66, and the west region is the region that uh, is not the well one, just to 45, for example. Okay, now let's move on here to the second analysis that I have, or the second problem, quantity of orders per region per product. So you can see here that I have two different conditions, two criteria. The first one, the region, okay, number one, and the product, the number two, quantity of orders per region per product. So here I can use, I need to use the count ifs function because I have more than one condition. So equal sign, and as you guys can see here to the left, I have the products that are gonna use as a criteria, okay? Equal sign, count if, 
Now we're gonna use the count ifs with this s in the suffix. Double click here, won't you? As the first thing, the first uh, condition that the count ifs function is asking me here is the criteria range number one, the first criteria range. I can select as the first criteria range, maybe let's say the product itself. So let me click here in the entire column C, comma. Now I need to input my first criteria and we need to be mindful about it because as we select as the criteria range one, the first criteria range, the products, I need to use as my first criteria also the product because to match the information, okay? So let me select here this padded armchair here to the left, comma. Now my criteria range number two, my second criteria range, this can be uh, the region here, the region, the columns where I have the regions. Let me click in over the G letter to select the entire column, comma. Now we can put here the criteria number two, the second criteria, that is the salt region. So I can click here over the cell, close parentheses and enter, we're done. As you we can compare here to this reviews uh, result, we have here salt is equal to 66. But if you open this information and slice and dice, we can see here that the salt is not equal to 66. If you also use here as criteria, the product added armchair, okay? But anyway, after we fill in here, all this first column, salt, the sum of all the values that are gonna make up the salt column, gonna need to be equal to 66, okay? Because this is, is the total for the region. Now to finish here, the second problem that we have, if I click in the first cell, hold, click, hold, and drag to the right, and then click, hold, and drag down, as you guys can see, we have a lot of zeros. Why, why is that? Because when we drag down a function or drag to the right or to the left or up, whatever, all the references is gonna move along this drag down, drag up, drag to the left, okay? So as you guys can see here, maybe I can take this example right here, double click here in the cell, won't you? Look, as the condition, as the criteria, I need to use the region that is up here and also the product that is here to the left. And my range is gonna be the product and also the region. But as you guys can see, it's all messed up. It's all out place. This happened, as I said before, because whenever you drag down the cell, as you guys can see, the reference is gonna be moving along, but it cannot happen. So before we do it, we need to lock, we need to fix the, the reference to make sure all the criteria, all, all the cells, all, all the range is gonna be fixed in the same position. So let's take a look here in the first criteria range that we are using, the column C, that is right here, okay. The column C is always gonna need to be the column C. It can't move for any anywhere else. So let me select the range right here, and I'm gonna press the F4 key to lock the reference. And uh, I, it's gonna add the dollar sign just before the C and uh, before the C again, okay? Now here with the reference of the product, J14, for example, I'm gonna need to do something similar, but I'm gonna press the F4 key one time, the F4 key again, and one more time, the F4 key. That way, as you guys can see, the dollar sign is only before the letter J. It's mean. It's gonna, it can move through the J column, up, down, but as the, the row 14 is not fixed, locked, it can go to the row 15, 16, 17, 18, and so on, so on. And yes, this is what I need. Another thing that we can do here is the column G, where I am using here as the region. I'm gonna need to fix the entire column G, so let me press here also the F4 key to lock the reference, the entire reference. Now here to the last condition that we have, K13, that is the region itself, the criteria of the region. I'm gonna need to press the F4 key one time, F4 key one more time, two times, just to add, only to add the dollar sign before the number. That way we can make the this criteria right, right here free to move to the right. Let me now press enter and we're done. If I click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag to the right, and then click hold and drag down. As you guys can see, we're done with the second problem. All the cells here are filling in with the correct uh, function and uh, the result is also correct. This is how we can do the count if function in Excel and the count ifs function. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next ones, let me know, comment down below and I see you tomorrow as everybody has a new video. I see you there.